In this video, we're going to talk about another so-called easy strategy for beginners. It's a horse racing strategy called dobbing. Now this strategy has been out since day one basically, since the uh, exchange has started. So it's nothing new. So if you're familiar with this, you don't need to watch this video. But since a lot of my viewers are new to this, I just thought I would go through it. This is just going to be a, an introduction to dobbing since I don't really actually do this strategy myself. But I thought I would show you how it works. Now, I don't know why it's called dobbing, apart from the DOB, which stands for double or bust. It basically means you're going to double your money or you're going to lose your money. This is criteria for picking your horses. Ideally, we need a front runner. History of dobbing. I like the odds range between 6 and 12, but you can have whatever range you like. A favourite to be around about 4.0. And if the horses actually run on the course before and distance, going form, jockey, etc. So how does it work? Well, it consists of two bets. A back bet and a lay bet. So what we do is we place one bet before the off. Uh, for this example, I've put £10 at 10.0, which means you would win £90. And at exactly the same time, you also lay the bet, same horse, for double the amount at half the price. So we will be laying it for £20 at fives, which means you would actually lose £80. So if you take one from the other, it would leave you a £10 profit. So what do we need to do? Well, just before the race starts, you'll place your first bet of £10. And at the same time, you will also place another bet for £20 at fives. And when it goes into play, hopefully the price will subtract enough to fives that it will get matched. When this is done, it doesn't matter what happens to the horse, it can go on to win, or it can go on to lose. We've we've done our bet, we've done our trade, we've dobbed, we've got our profit. Ryan, a double on the day, and indeed Rafe Beckett, after taking our feature Bronte Cup a little earlier on, they team up with the favourite Quantum Impact here. There is uh, Skeptic going forward. Let's get back to Gareth. Thanks, Chris. Last one heading forward. They're just about ready. And out they come. They're off for the Royal Yorkshire Regiment at Handicap. Racing over a mile. Saxon King in a yellow coloured jacket on the wide outside here. Also in yellow, Maximilian Caesar. Double seeking Jim Crowley who shows in front by a little more than a length over Maximilian Caesar and the nose banded at Dubai Jamila. With more towards the near side, Quantum Impact now coming closer together with Ray. Spitter Dalters on the wide outside are now being ridden along. With a patient ride at this stage, feel the need is trying to creep a bit closer with theme park and over on the far side met a horse with skeptic inside the so obviously the most important thing with this strategy is picking the horse in the first place so how do we do that so what i do i go to uh, at the races or that you can use any other of the uh, racing sites and most of them will give you what we call pace so you got your race card you got your predictor and there's a section called pace so on the right hand side, it will give you a pace description of how it's run in the past. For instance, this one at the bottom, number 12, as you can see there, it's got a ranking of 9. And all the others, I mean, there's one there what has got a ranking of 8, so I suppose that could end of it, I suppose. But what you're looking for is an out-and-out -out runner. Once you've identified the horse that you want to, to do the dobbing on, I then go on to Betfair and just check a few things out. It's number 12. So what this does, it tells you what it's done in the past. So last time it ran it, the starting price was 11.9. It went as low as 1.32, which obviously would have been a dob. 
again there it was sorted at 14s I ended up at 1.44 at the lowest again another dob time before that it went on to win so obviously that would have been a dob it sorted at nines and time before that again one ten you get the idea as well as that you can actually go into time form which is a fee to, to subscribe they do do other things as well but for what we need it is free you just log in find the race and again it was number 12 oh, I'm actually on the wrong one find the race scroll down to number 12 And again, it's exactly the same thing. But doing it this way, you can actually, instead of going on to the, at the races and looking, you can just go into the time form and you can just look for the dobs. For instance, this one here, number eight, it dobbed there, it dobbed there, it dobbed there, there, and not quite there. So, and the last five, it's dobbed four times. That's another possibility. I'm recording this in the morning. So at the moment, you wouldn't do this. You would only place the bet literally one minute before the off. And the lay back, back at exactly the same time. I'll probably record this race later on and add it to the video. Just to see how it gets on. Once you've got used to how dobbing works, you can then mess around with strategy. For instance, instead of having a full dob, like I've shown you, you can do a half dob. So instead of having it go down to 5.0, you can do it so it just goes down to 7.50, which has got a better chance of doing. So obviously your strike weight will need to be higher, but it's got a better chance of dobbing at that than as at the 5. This video has just been a taster into dobbing. As like I said at the beginning, it's something that I generally don't use. But if you like it and you think there's something that you would want to do, I suggest that you go ahead and Google dobbing. There's loads of YouTube videos on it. There's also a dedicated sites specifically for this strategy. If you would like me to do a more in-depth one on this, I can do, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.